Hey everyone, Frank here, aka Godzilla Island for the Mazer Squad with a little look at the Pacific Rim Ultimate Omnibus. This was a Kickstarter campaign back in 2021 and today, out of the blue, Legendary Comics announced a Monsterverse Omnibus that will include a sixth novel that takes place, a sixth graphic novel, that takes place during Godzilla vs. King, Godzilla vs. Kong, not Godzilla vs. King Kong. Um, this Pacific Rim Ultimate Omnibus included a sixth new um, graphic novel that was at the time exclusive to the Omnibus. And um, I have a feeling that Godzilla is going to be the same way. The Godzilla is running $99 for the base. This one ran $99 for the base as well. There's add-ons, t-shirts, um, patches, and all that. Um, I just went with this back then. Um, I, At the time, I only had the first two Pacific Rim graphic novels. I didn't have the third, fourth, or fifth one. I honestly didn't know they were still making graphic novels after the first two but they did and um this came out kind of when pacific rim of the black was running on netflix so the coincide um i believe the sixth graphic novel was to sort of lean into pacific rim the black i don't know if any of the other ones do I've had this a really long time now and I have just haven't got around to reading it. I have just such a backlog of comics and things to watch and this is my like it's just so I took the plastic. This is the first time I'm taking the plastic off. And it's it's this is like hefty. These are all the novels that are included. You have Tales from Year Zero, which was the prequel to the original Pacific Rim movie, Tales from the Drift, which was a sequel to Pacific Rim, up, the prequel to Pacific Rim Uprising, then Aftermath, Amara, and Blackout, which was the final graphic novel that was tie in with Pacific Rim The Black. Really, really cool. I mean, this thing is, you guys don't even understand, this thing is heavy. I believe it's 500 plus pages. Um, let's see if what we have towards the back. I don't see because I know the back is probably where all the extras are. Here's the bonus materials. So we can see all the like, different colors. I have this one. I don't have this cover. These are the Tales from Zero Year alternate covers. Um, little scripts. Storyboards. Look, a look at all the kaiju. Here is Tales from the Drift covers. I actually don't believe I have this. I only have the first graphic novel I believe for this. Now that I'm seeing these, I am way behind on my Pacific Rim. Yeah, none of these covers look familiar to me at all. Some really awesome art, though. Sketchbook, more storyboards. Kaiju. Now, one of the things I did see is that they are going to be doing... Um, little kaiju profiles for all the Monsterverse novel kaiju. This is some really good art. I, I really can't wait to dig into this now that I'm seeing all this art. I really enjoyed Pacific Rim the Black, the anime series on Netflix. It was really good. I gotta say Netflix has been doing a pretty good job on the Animes. I enjoy Ultraman. I know some people aren't into Netflix animes or Netflix in general, but um, I enjoy it. Um, they got Gamera on the way, which 
I'm super excited for. But I mean, this thing is, I'm literally, my back's hurting right now. <laughs> That's how heavy this is. And it's really cool, they even have a, you see this, a little piece of cloth that you can use as a bookmark for this massive graphic novel. Really cool, little, little addition there. Um, so check it out. I'm going to link up the old Kickstarter for this in the description. Um, you could order this from Amazon, not this one particularly, the hardcover, but they do have a soft cover out now, I believe, or you could get all the comics individually if you already have some of them. Um, so check out Legendary Comics on Twitter and... Check out the Kickstarter campaign for the MonsterVerse Omnibus right now, which looks extremely promising. Thanks for watching, guys.